Tonight's Science Zone gets underway by flinging open the doors to the Victorian pharmacy and all the weird and wonderful remedies that they concocted. That's in five minutes. So, how's the start of the new week looking? Here's Rob McKelvey now on BBC One with tonight's weather view. You know what autumn means. Uh, we can bring in old hurricane calls. It can be very warm, very wet and very windy, sometimes violently so. Well, we've toned it all down a little bit. The hurricane season hasn't really brought as much than a bit more oomph in the rain. We've got a huge low south of Iceland, which is the driving force at the moment, and the isobars are tight, and that waving front's with us for quite a while. So it is going to be wet, particularly for Scotland and Northern Ireland and northwest England, and it will be windy for all of us. But the concentration, first of all, is going to be in Highland Scotland, as far south as probably the Clyde, and there's a warning out for that because of the amount of rain that will fall, taking you into rush hour. Warmish air, this. Funnily enough, it's warmer where the rain is falling than where it isn't. Now, as Monday breaks dawn and the rain still falls, it heads south a little bit, concentrates on Cumbria, Snowdonia for a while, then goes back up for the late afternoon to western Scotland. It's always on the western side of the hills. The wind direction, this, the nature of this sort of weather is that the rain falls on the hills, is blown in horizontally by these winds, which are fairly strong, they're not quite gale force. And then the other side of the hills, particularly in the highlands, you can stop it raining, even break up the cloud and get some sunshine. It's possible to get sunshine here along the Murray coast, and you could get 21 or 22 as a result. Aberdeen, for example, is warmer than Edinburgh. Now, running down through England, it's the same story. Most of the rain's on the west, but some will get to the east and stay there. Uh, there will be, for a time, in the home counties, and particularly in East Anglia, a bit of rain. But on the whole, roughly speaking, south of Oxford and Birmingham, it'll be largely dry. It'll feel increasingly humid. It will be breezy and cloudy, maybe damp, but bright rather than overcast is probably the, the word to use. And overnight, as the rain sinks south and fades away from Scotland, the temperature difference is just becoming obvious. 10 or 11 is minima, 14 or 15 for England and Wales. So the rest of the week, then, will be much cooler. Cold, you could say, and breezy, if not very windy for a time, with showers. As we turn the wind direction round from the southwest to the northwest, the isobars are still tight, and the source of the air is a long way north. That gives the potential for deep showers, and plenty of them. First of all, concentrating on the Western Highlands, you could, could have another 100 millimetres here, so it repeats what's about to happen. Further south, it'll be showers fewer and fewer if you're in the south coast of England. Now, temperatures will drop, maybe not stunningly so, 15 down to 30, that sort of order for Scotland. Still 18 or 17 in Newcastle, and Belfast comes down a little bit. But for England and Wales, daytime maximum is still about the 15 to 17 mark. So, yes, it'll feel colder, it'll feel fresher, but at this stage, maybe not so much so. By the time we get to the end of the week, these daytime maxima fade away overnight to low single figures, and we could even think about a bit of frost come Thursday night or Friday night to take us in to next weekend. Anyway, well, that's what autumn is all about. If you're driving in fog, think. A square wheel is just as good as a round one. Time to put the theory to the test. Once you start questioning the shape of your wheels, it opens up a whole new world. Bang goes the theory, putting science to the test. Wednesday at 7.30 on BBC One. Coming soon to BBC One. Frida can't hide her past any longer. Hobby City follows in an hour.